Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm our Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to take a look here at your divine timing message for today, for Friday, August 4th, 2023. Let's take a look here. Holy Spirit, Spirit as an angel. Thank you so much. All right, that was quick. Embrace the energy of peace. Embrace the energy of peace, the broken arrow, the broken arrow, no war, no fighting, no negative energy. Embrace the energy of peace. Let's find that. Let's see here. All right. Is that coming up well? Let's see. Yep. So it says, let go of the need to defend yourself and prepare to offer peace. You are safe. Just as the arrow card symbolizes defense and protection, the broken arrow card symbolizes peace. In Native American traditions, a broken arrow would mean that tribes were no longer fighting one another, but were making alliances. And when you see a broken arrow in a meditation, vision, dream, or reading, it is a message that you no longer need to fight because peace has arrived. This is a powerful symbol of harmony, serenity, and community. So coming together. So let's take a look here. What does Aries say to see with this message? Holy Spirit, because of the angels, please allow me to live up my message here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's take a look. Holy Spirit, what is this? We have official person, main female here at the bottom of the deck. Let's see here but this energy this is for aries sun moon venus and rising this is for aries what do we have here for aries spirit we have the high priestess We have the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Wands. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. All right. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Page of Cups. The Seven of Wands here seems like you may need to stand your ground in the situation. Maybe stick to your truth. Expressing your emotions authentically. And not allowing anyone to change that. I guess I could say that. Like change it or make you change your stance. Because the Seven of Wands here is standing your ground. Sometimes um, in some decks, the Seven of Wands can also be protecting your peace. But this is not moving, losing your footing. This is sometimes a struggle or a battle. So the struggle or the battle, I feel like, may be to be able to keep your peace. Because you have embraced your peace, embraced the energy of peace, and you have the official person. And as soon as this came out, I was getting the energy of taking the high road. Taking the high road. And this is number 22. And you have the high priestess, which is number two. So you got 222 right here. Um... And this is following your intuition. This is also listening to spirit, listening to the divine, listening to what's calling to you, what you feel in your soul and your spirit here, what you're being led to do. And the three of pentacles here, this could be collaborating, coming together, working together, building together, growing together. Aries, there's a situation that is literally calling for you to be the bigger person. Okay, the three of pentacles, this could be a work situation. This could be a group situation um, where it's maybe like a family or a collective energy, but it's calling for you to stay true to yourself while, while doing this, but also express your true 
feelings and thoughts, definitely feelings because the page of cups is here to express your true feelings, to express what you're thinking, what you're feeling and to stand your ground. Also, I want to say to not let anybody walk over you, which I mean, I'm sure you have no trouble doing that. <clears throat> Tell us about this three of pentacles. The empress Libra energy here. <clears throat> this is about elevation. This is about elevation. The Empress here could be new. Uh, it could be new love. I don't want to say new love. It could be new love. The beginning stages of new love, specifically self-love, you pouring into yourself, attracting abundance, peace, prosperity, wealth, especially with the three of pentacles. This could be some reward of some sort as well, but this is definitely an elevation, Aries. Is giving something is coming for you, coming in for you, like a reward of some sort, even whether you know it or not. Right now is not a good time for you to be engaging in any type of arguments, fights, anything like that, because it puts you into a negative energy, a negative space. And that could, you know, it could like block or close off the pathway to something really good coming in because, and when I don't say block it, it means that you're not in alignment with it. If you keep your, 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 your energy, your vibration raised, it's going to be a vibrational match for something here that's coming towards you with the Ace of Swords. But if you lower that vibration or put yourself on a different frequency because of an argument, because of a drama or some, some situation here, it's going to take you off that frequency to receive. I hope you understood that. All right. We have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck and the Justice. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care.